Hey guys, in this video, I want to go over Warrior II. Uh, traditionally, Warrior II is taught we need to square our hips to the side of your matter side of the room, right? There's a couple issues with that. So let's walk through how I teach it. So with Warrior II, I get in as deep of a stance as you want to be in, right? Front knee, right over the heel. Heel to heel alignment, right? It can be a little bit different. What, you know, work what's comfortable for you. But I want my toes facing 12 o'clock. I want my back foot in the same direction as my kneecap, right? Because if my foot is not in the same direction as my kneecap, when I pull my feet together, I feel a lot of strain to the inside of my knee. When I adjust the angle so it's going in the same direction as the kneecap, when I pull, I get an equal kind of stretch across the inner thigh, the calf, along the knee, okay? So toes in the back, in the same direction as the back kneecap, left knee over left heel, hip points lifting up. I'm gonna press into my right foot, all three points of contact down, squeeze the right glute, squeeze the right quad, firm them up. And then I'm gonna take a look to the inside of my left knee. If I cannot see the big toe to the inside of the knee, I'm gonna take this back hip, so in this case, right the hip, forward and down so that knee tracks towards the baby toe. Now I can see the big toe to the inside. Now my hips, right? Most of us, we look like this, right? And if I use the block to kind of show it, most of us are gonna look like this. So what we need to do is get this front hip up so it's in line with the back. So to do that, just straighten out the left leg just a little bit. Let front hand, like a lobster hand, Grab a hold of your pelvis, the, the hip bone right here, and just lift it up. And then squeeze your right glute, pull the feet towards each other, keep the hips here, and then rebend the knee. And then again, if I can't see the big toe to the inside of the knee, I'm gonna roll it down. What, what happens, and this is why I don't like the cue of square your hips to the side. Open your hips, open this right hip up so it's square with your left towards the side. The problem with that is the hips are circular. And when you close off or open up one side, you close off the other. So as you can see, as I roll this hip open, this knee tracks this way. When I close the knee, this hip off, the knee goes this way. So if I'm trying to force this hip open, I can't also keep my knee tracking in the direction I want it to go. It's gonna kind of sickle in. So it's, you get into your stance, heel to heel alignment, Back toe, same direction as the back knee, front knee over the front heel. And then I'm gonna work this back hip forward and down until I see the big toe to the inside of the knee. I'm gonna pull my feet towards each other, press through the, all three points of contact. So the big toe mound, the baby toe mound, and the center of my right heel. Firm up the right quad, firm up the right glute. Hip points lift up, lower ribs draw in, arms wide. Right, and with the arms wide, I wanna draw my shoulder blades towards each other, but at the same time, I wanna reach the arms away from each other. I'm gonna feel my back muscles. Another way to kind of get the back engaged is to reach your arms up, palms face forward, make fists, and then imaginary resistance, draw the elbows slightly lower than the shoulders. Keep that engagement, straighten out the arms. And it does the same thing when you draw your shoulder blades towards each other, but you reach your arms away from each other. Notice though, the lower ribs wanna flare out, pull them in. Right, we're not, we're not trying to stick our butt out in our warrior two. We wanna lengthen it in, lengthen it down, hip points up. Stretch it wide. Shoulders over the hips, we're not leaning here. We're not leaning here. Right, we are here. Feet pull towards each other, right hip a little forward and down. Left knee to the, towards the baby toe, towards the third toe. This hip, not like this in line with each other. Squeeze this right quad, energy through the fingers, but draw the shoulder blades towards each other at the same time. Okay, hope these, in, hope these kind of adjustments help you. Again, it, this cue of squaring the hips to the side, it doesn't work because this knee moves. Now, is there somebody who can take their hips and just whoa, open up, knee going right where you want it? Yeah, but most people know, right? We need to stop getting our bodies into certain poses, we need to get the poses into our bodies. So that right hip forward and down, see the big toe to the inside of the knee, arms reach wide, 
hip points lift up. Arms stretch, shoulder blades towards each other. Gaze can be over that middle finger. Gaze can be to the side. Gaze can be wherever you want it. Okay. Give it a go. Let me know what you think. Namaste.